Back at E3 2019, I got an opportunity to get hands-on with an indie title called No Straight Roads. Remember E3? That week-long event showcasing the latest news and projects in the video game industry? Well, the game's colorful blend of action and rhythm, as well as its music, quickly caught my attention. Now a year later, I've gotten some more time with No Straight Roads courtesy of a new demo that covers the beginning of the game up to the second boss battle. This demo is also publicly available starting today, if you want to give it a try as well. It's not rocket science. I mean, it is, but... Can someone fetch me some fresh Mr. Dodo Ice Pops? This one's all melted. For those who might not be up to speed, No Straight Roads is an upcoming action game developed by Metronomic, a Malaysian studio founded in December 2017. The game is co-directed by Juan Hosmir, who served as the lead game designer for Final Fantasy XV, and Daim Ziaudin, the concept artist for Street Fighter V. Hey ya! The name's Mayday! I wield a guitar, and he is... Zook. And he plays the... Drums. No Straight Roads takes you into a world ruled by EDM, where you play as young and upcoming musicians Mayday and Zook. Their dream of hitting the big time with their unique style of rock music hits a brick wall during a performance for Vinyl City's largest music label, NSR. The label's CEO, Titania, proclaims rock is dead and EDM is the only acceptable type of music allowed. Doubtful of NSR's intentions, the duo finds new resolve and vows to bring about a music revolution to liberate Vinyl City from the influence of EDM with the power of rock. The music revolution starts right now. So just how do Mayday and Zook fight back against this mega corporation? Well, by hijacking the concerts of the most talented artists under the NSR label. Venues serve as the focal points for the major districts in Vinyl City, and whoever controls each one controls that district. By engaging in a literal battle of the bands, you slug it out with these contemporary maestros in a showdown for more than just bragging rights. <laughs> The game's combat blends the traditional elements of stringing together flashy attacks with an emphasis on timing everything to the music. Enemies move and attack on beat, and following the rhythm is crucial to timing attacks, parries, and dodges. While there are visual cues to accompany the audio indicators, No Straight Roads isn't as strenuous as a traditional rhythm game. It allows you to mostly play at your own pace, though there are a few segments which demand you stay in beat. You can freely switch between Mayday and Zook in combat to utilize each character's unique abilities. Mayday performs slower, heavier melee strikes with her guitar, while Zook dishes out faster, lighter blows with his drumsticks. Eventually, you can equip mods you find while exploring to use special abilities like tossing Mayday's guitar or having Zook drum up healing items. But for the most part, the two heroes' playstyles don't feel drastically different when it comes to movement or speed. Sing and dance with me, okay? The battle system is novel, but the combat through the first two bosses doesn't have me fully sold just yet. The fixed camera angles and the concert venues makes it hard to judge movement at times, especially when dodging obstacles. Additionally, a lock-on option for enemies would alleviate some of the frustration when trying to perform melee combos, as it's simply too easy for attacks to miss their mark. However, one standout mechanic is the ability to transform objects into weapons using the power of music. Last night. A sabotage at Club Planetarium has resulted in an unexpected change of leadership. Performing well brings in new fans, and the total number of fans essentially acts as a currency to unlock new abilities on the skill tree. However, given the short length of the demo, we weren't able to fully explore its possibilities. Additionally, doing well on the base difficulty unlocks harder settings if you want more of a challenge. And there is an option to alter the track playing during the fight from its default setup to either a bass, rock, or EDM track. My music will reach the furthest corners of the galaxy. What have you done today? The venues themselves are visual showpieces that really sell the game's unique aesthetic. DJ Subatomic Supernova's planetarium-themed arena has planets rotating around a dazzling turntable with wonderful effects. And Sayu's neon underwater wonderland provides plenty of eye candy, especially once it shifts from day to night. Outside of combat, there isn't much to do when running around Vinyl City other than picking up energy cores, collecting power-ups, or talking to random citizens. Energy cores can be used to power objects that net you more fans, but otherwise they haven't served any other purpose. 
So far, chatting with characters hasn't opened up any sort of side quests or activities either. There are a handful of objects that appear to be disabled in this demo, so perhaps those will provide some much needed variety. Other than exploring Vinyl City, you can also cool off at your home base in between battles. Your home starts off as a simple room where you can view collectibles or play a retro arcade style game, but as you progress, new rooms will open up. One of these is a workshop, which allows you to equip power-ups in the form of stickers or mods. Stickers are time-limited buffs that are applied to your equipment and last around one boss battle before expiring. However, you can easily get more of them by returning to Vinyl City. Mods are special moves attained by defeating NSR Artist, and using one requires a segment of the energy bar next to your HP gauge. This energy is filled up by either attacking enemies or picking up items like soda bottles, and when the tide of battle shifts in favor of rock, the energy bar slowly increases over time. Your death has been nothing when a billion stars and a thousands upon thousands of planets no Straight Roads clearly has potential. The visuals and soundtrack easily draw you into its captivating world, and the concert venues really sell the rhythm aspect of the gameplay. Whether or not the combat lives up to the lofty standards of the world around it remains to be seen, though. There's also the big question mark of whether Vinyl City provides any other meaningful attractions, because it's rather bare bones in the demo. We won't have to wait long for the answers, as No Straight Roads is scheduled to arrive on August 25th for PC, PlayStation 4, Switch, and Xbox One.